overclockers, 2025 is off to a flying start with some epic new hardware announcements and plenty of exciting new PC upgrades launching later this year. There is so much to cover that this episode of Bias Update is a CES special with a roundup of all the biggest news from the event. We're talking GPUs, CPUs and what's in between, so let's get into it. During CES, NVIDIA officially announced the highly anticipated RTX 50 series. There's the flagship RTX 5090, the one I think gamers are going to go mad for, the RTX 5080, then the great priced performance RTX 5070 Ti, and then the more affordable RTX 5070. The 5090 and 5080 will appear for sale from the 30th of January, with the 5070 Ti and 5070 following in February. Nvidia has made some pretty bold claims about the performance thanks to brand new AI software technologies such as neural rendering and DLSS 4 with multi-frame generation. With these features maxed out, they can actually generate up to three frames per rendered frame and the RTX 5070 could deliver the same performance as the RTX 4090, but I'm only going to believe this when I actually see it with my own eyes. Nvidia is promising there will be 75 games and apps that support multi-frame generation on launch, like Alan Wake 2, Cyberpunk 2077, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle and Star Wars Outlaws. Other DLSS 4 features, such as reduced latency and improved image quality, will actually be available on previous RTX generations. When it comes to getting your hands on one, at Overclockers, stock and OC models will be available from partners like Asus, Gamewood, Gigabyte, Inno3D, MSI, Palette, PNY and Zotac. We'll also have some SI-only SKUs for any pre-bought PC orders. In order to give everyone a fair chance, stock is limited to the UK only and just one per customer. Using a debit or credit card directly via the Overclockers website is going to be the fastest way of checking out and securing your spot in the queue. Make sure that you join the Overclockers forums or our Discord channel for the latest stock updates and make sure your DPD details are up to date in the app for delivery. Demand is likely to be pretty crazy, so don't be too disappointed if you don't manage to get your hands on one. We're going to be working hard behind the scenes to get as much stock as possible. Not to be eclipsed by the NVIDIA RTX 50 series announcement, AMD also announced the first two models from their upcoming AMD Radeon RX 9000 series. The Radeon RX 9070 XT and 9070 GPUs will sit as mid-range graphics cards. The new naming system is designed to mirror NVIDIA's, making it easier to compare the different models. Therefore, we can hope they will directly compete with the RTX 5070 Ti and 5070 when it comes to gaming performance. In terms of generation on generation, the Radeon RX 9070 models are expected to hit somewhere between the RX 7900 XT and 7800 XT. AMD hasn't yet confirmed the specs for this card, but a recent benchmark leak suggests that the RX 9070 XT will ship with a default 2.52 GHz base clock and a boost of up to 3 GHz. It could also have 16GB of VRAM with a 256-bit memory bus, along with a power draw of 330 watts. It's a bit strange for them to hold out during a huge event like CES, so I really hope that AMD announces more details soon, including some very competitive pricing and a commitment to their delivery date of sometime in quarter 1 2025. We'll of course let you know when we know more. AMD's Radeon launch might have been a bit meh, but thankfully their CPU announcement was very exciting. We all know the AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D was a game changer when it was launched last year, so I'm pretty hyped for the just announced Ryzen 9 9950X3D. This flagship CPU brings 3D vCache to a 16-core processor with all the benefits of Zen 5 architecture and an impressive 5.7 GHz boost speed. AMD claims this is the best processor for both gaming and content creation, with graphs smashing the Intel Core Ultra competitor and showing generation gains of 8% in a range of games. It's no surprise, with loads of cores and threads for rendering and workloads, plus that 3D vCache for immense gaming performance. 
The 12-core Ryzen 9 9900X 3D will also be launching at the same time, hopefully around March. In addition to this, AMD Ryzen 9000X 3D processors are coming to gaming laptops, codenamed FireRange. AMD announced the Ryzen 9 9955HX 3D mobile CPU with the Ryzen 9 9955HX and 9850HX as well. They all use desktop level silicon and the flagship model features 16 cores, 32 threads, Zen 5 architecture and a 3D vCache to bring incredible gaming performance to the laptop market. AMD hasn't yet offered any performance or battery life info for its fire range chips, but they should be just as impressive as their desktop counterparts. The highlight of Intel's hardware announcements at CES was the Intel Core Ultra mobile processors, with H, HX and U models joining the Intel Core Ultra 200 series lineup. These processors feature up to 24 cores and maximum clock speeds of up to 5.5 GHz with 48 PCIe lanes. All their latest processors are enhanced by their AI acceleration program with onboard NPUs that offer extra performance for AI workloads. The H and HX models are predominantly aimed at gamers and those demanding workloads, with the 200HX series offering enthusiast level performance and the 200H series equipped with those integrated Intel Arc graphics. Meanwhile, the 200U series is more for everyday office use. In Intel's benchmark testing, when compared to AMD's Ryzen AI HX3070, the Core Ultra 285HX delivers 40 to 100% more performance in multi-threaded workloads. Impressive. The new HX chips also have a much lower maximum power draw than their 14th gen predecessors. This is better for battery life and also more suitable for cramming into a thin and light chassis. The HX series has also been designed to be paired with next generation discrete GPUs for true next gen performance. And you can expect laptops with all the latest tech to start appearing before the end of Q1. Finishing up with one of my favorite tech showcases that I saw from all the news at CES, and it comes from MSI. The original Product Zero is all about hiding connectors at the back of your PC, so your gaming hardware is on full display without any of the wire clutter. The new Project Zero X PC takes this concept to another level and pairs it with an innovative new hardware layout and I.O. placement. All of its connectors are on the back surface, including the I.O. panel for the usual PC connections like USB, Ethernet and audio. There are literally just two cables on show, and this seems to actually be a lot more modification than you currently get with Asus's BTF or Gigabyte's Project Stealth. MSI's designer did all this by rotating the hardware at 90 degrees so the case could actually be pushed up against a wall with everything unsightly hidden at the back and lots of wraparound glass to showcase the high-end components. The motherboard was even covered by a set of board-wide heatsinks that hit the PCB and any of those installed M.2 SSDs. I actually love the look of a coloured braided cable, but I think this new layout looks fantastic and it maybe shows the future of PC building. Unfortunately, MSI had no further info on whether Project Zero X would actually come to market as a commercial project, but I just love the concept anyway and I thought it was worth sharing. That has been my top five announcements from CES 2025. Obviously, there was loads more announced and you can head over to the Overclockers blog to see the full roundup of all the different CPUs, GPUs, and of course, everything else. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite announcement from CES this year. And of course, remember to like, subscribe, and why not check out one of our other videos such as the Intel Battle Mage launch. I'll see you again in in the next one.